We, we are yet to get the details about what has happened. Again, is there a government in place? How can you hire goods to come and beat people at a funeral? Because it is obvious Gachagua could not do that. He was just going there to mourn with the mourners. But, and, and Peter Mwadi, we are looking for Mwishmua Peter Mwadi because we are told he was also abducted. Because uh, he was just about to invite Gachagua to make uh, his remarks, give his condolences, and then hired goods. So this is a government of goods, state-sponsored terrorism. At ways go na Nigeria in Nigeria. Yeah. Was pokoma tutarudi mitaani. This is a huge shame. You are pelaka nyumbani for you. Because we are Nigeria mecho. Pokotari. Wangapi pokotari ataka. here for two things. One, we are asking the whereabouts of one former MP of Lemuru, Honorable Peter Mwadi, who was abducted today when the barrier was still going on. Today, we witnessed something that nobody has ever imagined. That the second deputy president, where he was seated at the VIP tent, about 200 to 300 goons who never came from uh, the moon. They were ferried. They came by buses. And we even have videos of them getting money from some uh, those who are organizing. And that's why we had come here. Because we have to look for justice. For one, regarding Ashagwa, our second deputy president. Two, the former MP, Peter Mwadi of the moon. And the NCA for Bibirioni, Honorable Mpoo. But when we got here, for the first time, the DCI director wants to interview us at the gate. He has, he's asking, what do you want? But we wanted to access the office so that we can give our information, our statement, and he takes notes. When we insisted on getting into his office, he walked away. This is a country that we are living in. That he walked away when the honorable members are here, the people uh, from Kiambu and from all over. Because we are here, leaders of today, leaders of yesterday, and also leaders of tomorrow. We were here. So my point is, we want to ask the DCI, please, you know you are the Subaru men. Mr. Mwadi was taken by a Subaru. Please return Peter Mwadi to his house. The wife is here, the children are here, and of course, they want their father and their husband back. Lastly, we want to insist, as the Senator of Kiambu, and the MPs who are here, and the Senators who are here, we will not be cowards. We will not stop. We will go. But I ask the people of Mount Kenya, and the people across the country, refuse to be misused to harm a brother. Because today, I saw it with my own eyes. They were trying to assassinate one regarding a shadow. They took the metal bus from the tents, they hit his car several times and they were aiming at the left side of the vehicle, the back left, the seat. But thankfully, he was seated on the right. So today, what we are speaking today, we could be speaking about something different. Today was an assassination attempt for regarding Rashad. And as the president and the security, please, it's not a prayer, it's not a request, it's not a privilege. We want you to give back the security to regarding the Shagwa 